Good afternoon. Welcome to my party. It is so good to see you here. Uh, today we're being audited by my dog. He, as you can see, is not impressed at all with anything we're doing today. So I think that's as excited as he's going to get. <laughs> uh appreciate the uh attendance here today thank you very much uh for coming and we're going to be covering a lot of stuff today futures equities forex all of the big stuff and before we get started it's important to recognize that we are here as a 15 plus year company engineering and developing institutional grade tools for futures forex equities options traders that attacks the problem from a unique perspective we are one of if not the only companies producing predictive programs for traders who've maybe figured out sometimes a little late in the game, that the game is rigged. And so it's important for me to sort of tell you before we start, and man, we've got a lot of ground to cover, um, that there is a golden rule. And if you haven't figured it out yet, it, it's, it doesn't seem to matter who's in office or uh, who's in charge, institutions have their smelly little fingers all over everything. How many of you believe what I'm saying today? That there's an element of manipulation. We knew this almost without hesitation with Forex, right? We understood how uh, manipulated Forex markets were and how brokerages would uh, trade against you. And we're just starting now via the internet to get a sense of how badly futures and equities markets were affected by this manipulation um most traders come at this believing the market is fair and using a multitude of tools ranging from price action to vwaps and there are as many courses with initials tep lmnop qrs it's all very official sounding and our customers take a different approach. They trade when, 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 time-based, when markets are expected to go in a direction. And when the thieves are robbing the store, we steal the cookies with them. One of the best examples that I give as it relates to this, is one of the largest fines ever paid by JP Morgan. And they essentially popped, but didn't, to manipulating the markets. Let me show you what I mean by this. And here's, here's how, man, man, how rigged is the market when they don't even have to admit they did something wrong. They may be forced to admit wrongdoing. May be forced. And so most of the time they're fined, they don't have to admit they did anything wrong. And the further down we go, the more we see the details. They manipulated gold futures. They spoofed. Today's resolution, which includes a significant criminal monetary penalty, 
requires J.P. Morgan to disgorge its unlawful gains. One billion dollars. How much profit did J.P. Morgan generate 2023? Forty-six billion dollars. Do you think that hurt the one billion dollar fine? How much do you think they made in profits from cheating in the other markets that they traded? And so what I want to talk about with you is what's happening today still at the predictive gold times. Meaning if they stopped cheating, how did we know they were going to sell at 120 and 305 and 435 and 720? and 925 how did we know they were going to sell at 10 o'clock and 8 40 and 12 15 how did we know they were going to buy at 7 30 and 9 10 12 30 2 15 6 35 and 10 30 how did we know any of this and how were we able to provide two days worth of timing signals in advance if what we believe isn't true. Dave, let me know that we have a guest here. Jitendra, are you still here? Jitendra, tell me hello if you're here so I know that we can look at Forex together. I'm gonna make you type into the screen. So the pairs that we sent signals out for, were the pound dollar and the euro US dollar. Show Detendra, these are the times for the pound dollar today. And you'll see that we gave those signals out two days ago. Here are the times that were given 845 Eastern, 955 Eastern, 1055 Eastern, 1235. 9.55 Eastern, 10.55 Eastern, 12.35 Eastern. So Jitendra, they match. What was provided matches what's on my screen. And when we look at the charts, you say they were way off. The software said to watch for buying. Here is the Asian session into the US, into the UK session, into the uh, American session. Long, short from 210 Eastern until 240. Long from 240 until 420 Eastern. Then we have two signals back to back. <laughs> Excuse me. Short from 515 until 605. You finish exactly where you started, break even. Long at 605 into 640. You finish exactly where you started with a nominal gain. Short from 6.40 until 8 o'clock. Long from 8 o'clock until the report. The report is at 8.30. We exit the position right before the report. Short from 8.45 until 9.20 for a loss. Womp womp. Long from 9.20 until 9.55. Short from 9.55 until 10.15. Long from 10.15 until 10.55. Short from 10.55 till 11.35. Long from 11.35 until 12.35 US lunchtime. Lunchtime over one o'clock. Short from 12.35 until 1.50. No buying at 150, short at 3 p.m., long at 3.30, no bueno. So I have a hard time seeing how this was way off on a five minute chart. This wasn't way off. Gabriel, stand by. I'm going to bring you in as an organizer so you can see the questions.
let me see if I can find you in here. I don't see you in the I don't see you in the user group. Stand by, Chitendra. Do you use different setting for pound Australian, pound Canadian, pound yen, pound New Zealand? Because one of your team, David Cohn, sent forecasts for said pairs for July 2024, and they were way off. Do you use different settings? No. Same settings. I'm telling you what I have right here and what I sent to anyone taking the trial. Right? These were the settings and the signals I gave for Wednesday. So I know what I sent everybody. I don't know what David sent you. If I apply this to here, these are the settings for the pound Australian today, and they're better than the pound dollar. If I look at the pound Australian, look at what the signals told me to watch for and look at what happened. You had to make money. I find Forex traders are generally the most hesitant to purchase anything. They usually use the lowest cost everything. And when the solution is in front of them for the thing they need to work against the banks, they run. Here's a 15 minute chart for the pound. Uh, for the sterling Australian dollar. These are the settings that I'm using. And you can see here, I'm not shucking and jiving and doing anything in particular. If you just traded in the direction of the trend, you were long from here to here, long from here to here, from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here to here. You knew exactly when to get in, stop loss, long, stop loss, Gain, 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 break even, loss. And so I'm reticent to go too deep down the rabbit hole with Forex traders because of several reasons. And I hope that's not the case with you, but generally speaking, and we're going to look at futures markets here in a moment. But in the 15 years that I've been doing this, I generally find the following things to be true with Forex traders. They are the least capitalized. Meaning they're playing with like a $250 account. And tell me if any of this rings true. They are the least capitalized. B. They're using the lowest performance platform, usually MT4 or 5, right? Using the lowest performance platform. C, they are trading multiple pairs, four, five, six, seven, or more, instead of focusing on one instrument. And then D, there's generally probably 20% uh, of traders in light of the proof uh, move forward with a purchase where about 80% of futures traders do who are more capitalized, use a better platform and focus on one instrument. So whether it's the pound Aussie, the pound CAD, the pound yen, pound New Zealand, the very first customers for this program were pound yen customers, the very first for 15, and they just reported gain after gain after gain after gain. So the signals did work and they worked well for the pairs that I published on the time frames that I published them, euro dollar, pound dollar, and the like. Also, most of the Forex traders are looking for a home run. They want 
Michael, if you only give me a month's worth of signals, if I'm able to make a million dollars in a month, I will buy your software. I have many traders in my family. I will tell all of them, they will all purchase your software. You'll be successful. What are you afraid of? Instead of saying, hey, I understand the system. I believe what you believe. I'm invested in learning it. These are the signals that we sent out two days ago for the Euro US dollar. What do I mean by sent out? You'll see here if you're taking the trial that we're giving out these times in advance. For Thursday, if we look at the Euro US dollar, we'll see that this screen was posted four days ago. Thank you, Gabe, I see you now. You were under Richard Make you an organizer. Yes, make sure your microphone is muted, Gabe, when I bring you over. So the premise of the program is actually pretty wonderful. If banks are cheating or if markets are following time in any sense of our claim, then we should be able to, we should be willing to warn people in advance when selling pressure signals are expected and when buying pressure signals are expected, right? And so all of the white signals, and this is all Eastern Daylight Time, New York East Coast Time. I'm in North Carolina, my computer is set to East Coast Time. The program will display the times local to your computer. <laughs> Excuse me one second. Okay, so can you guys see these blue and white lines? They were published four days ago. So Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, on Monday, these pixels were digitally carved into stone, carved into electronic stone, if you will. Well, if the premise of our belief is true, if the markets are based on timing as much as, if not more than price action, then we should be able to come here and see some type of correlation, right? And again, there are two types of people who attend the webinar. Those who see what I'm about to show them, believe it and act on it, undeniable proof. And those, despite what they're about to see, will shake their head and leave disappointed with the solution to their failures uh, inches from their fingers. And Tendra, I hope that's not the case with you. At 455, 455, 630, 630, 845, 845, 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 1225, 1225. I want you to see that the signals match what was published and distributed to about 18,000 people four days ago. Okay, that's the first hurdle that I have to jump over. Then we look and see what happened at the times. And what we find is most of the time, six out of 10, seven out of 10 of the signals, go in the direction that it was expected to go. Up until the report, there's the report, there's the signal after the report, there's the signal after that signal. It blows through the stop at 11 o'clock, uh -uh. up at 1135, there's a double top, it comes up here, finishes lower by 150 and then the market goes into a range that's six out of ten predicting four days ago there's the asian session before that now we have more data points 205 
to 245 to 305. There's midnight and 55 seconds, almost 1 a.m. in the morning and midnight 25 minutes. How did I do this magic trick? If what I'm telling you is real, is not. How does this work? If the signals I gave you, me, the owner, co-owner, how does this not work? How is it way off? If what I gave you, isn't real right we can do really cool stuff with other pairs for example secondary data series gc scp24 Five minute. <sighs> Just do it for me, please. Give me one second. I was going to try something fancy, and I don't think it's going to let me. Let me try one more time. New chart, GBP, JPY, five minute. And then we'll use the standard settings. Okay, now what is the gold contract, GC, August, that's why. Watch this. Secondary data series, GC, AUG, two, four, five minute. There we go. So Jatinder, can you see my screen right there? I'm only allowed to work with the signals that I published, right? These are the signals from gold futures that I published four days ago. Watch here where it says gold five minute. If I take those signals, 905, 1115, 905, 1115, 215, 215, I can actually put the gold signals on top of the chart. If you trade, do you trade the US session? Because if we use the gold settings on the pound yen after the unemployment report, we can use the 8.30 signal until 9.05, take profit at 9.05. We can go long at 10 o'clock and exit at 11.15. All of the settings in my videos uh, today, my charts today, are based on the settings I've been using in the webinar for 15 years. I use a 714 with a swing strength of eight, okay? So it works on 4X. Let me show you how ridiculous this is. I'm gonna show you something that's insane and you still won't believe me when I'm finished. Those of you that have been following me on social media, I publicized a signal we were taking short based on the phases of the moon how many of you have been following my my series on predictive signals using moon phases on tiktok and youtube you 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 okay perfect jatindra i told about i think we have about thirty thousand people watching every month that we were looking for a short based off of the sell signal of the first quarter and the full moon uh, and told people predictively 
how long we were going to hold the signal. I'm going to hold it four more days when the next phase three comes, third quarter. Jatinder, do you see what happens in the E mini SP at the third quarter and the new moon and has been happening for months? What happens when there's a little red dot or a large red dot, people? Which direction does the market go? Watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, green. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, using the phases of the moon as my signal, predictively, what are we left with? Is anyone's mouth open catching flies right now? These markets are so predictable that I can look up in the sky, measure how big the moon is with my finger and tell you when the markets will go up or down. With precise entries. Right, and we've been calling highs and lows like this. So it stands to reason, if we're looking at other markets, we should see that type of efficacy. Jatinder, here's the pound dollar. What else did you say you look at? Pound yen? I'm going to use silly things to convince you. Uh, pound New Zealand. Whee! What's the other one? GBP, AU, GBP CAD. Yep. This one's gonna bake your noodle. I'm just gonna use the full moon and the new moon signal on the pair you trade to show you what you're not taking advantage of. What happens at the red dot? What happens at the green dot? Let's get the ATR fixed on here. I'm kind of all over the place today, but sometimes that goes in an interesting direction. Jatinder everywhere on this chart, which is the pound cat, a pair you trade. is a new moon right we're really digging into the idea of are markets predictable are they predictable or are they not that's really when someone says this times don't work and i asked dave for times on 14 pairs and ah you're short-circuiting yourself because you don't believe it and you put a hundred thousand obstacles in front of you because you don't want to believe it. Because if it's true, then everything you've done up until today was kind of dumb. <laughs> you did so much more work than you had to. And what I see here is evidence of a predictable market. And it's not exclusive to today. I can go back years. And it's doing the same thing. 2017, let's keep going back. 2016, 
2015, 2014. Years. Well, how would I trade this? When I'm above the moving average, I buy and I exit by the next position, 225 pips. When I'm above the moving average, I buy and exit minus 122. When I close below the moving average, I'm getting out by the buy signal, 205 ticks. Closes above the moving average, crossover, exit at the sell signal, five pips. Close below the moving average, crossover trade, stop out, minus 42 ticks. Buying at the full moon, exiting at the new moon, 79 ticks. Close below the moving average, exit by the new moon signal, plus 17 pips. Close above the moving average, stop below the crossover candle, exit on the new moon signal, 155 ticks. Puncture the, puncture the dot line right here. Long when it punctures, exit at the full moon from here to here, 226 pips. And right on schedule, Jitendra, you ask the next question. Show it to me on more pairs. More pairs, Michael. Which tells me you don't get this. You don't want to believe. Which is fine. Which is fine. We can't help everybody. And most people don't want to believe. I'm sorry, bro. I'm going to move on to the futures customers now. All right. What happened today on the E-mini S&P? What went on here? Inside of your handout section is a book called the Histogram Guidebook. Dave, I couldn't help him, I'm sorry. And inside of that book are patterns that we follow at the times that we're waiting for things to happen. For example, a pattern four or a pattern five. And if I use the times that we gave out four days ago for the E-mini S&P, we start to see that there's a correlation, a strong correlation between the times that we were waiting for things to happen and the moves that occurred. I'm gonna take those advanced signals off right here and just look at the raw times with you together first, okay? So a cursory examination of the signal times that we were waiting for moves we're selling at 548, buying at 624, selling at 703, buying at 757, selling at 836, buying at 903, and then 909, six minutes later, down. Okay, then we have these two signals, which I'm gonna come back to. 1215 up, 1239 down. This 106 signal, which I'm going to come back to, 124, 148, 254, which we're going to come back to, 321, and 345, up to and including the signal at 403. Good job, Rich. I'm going to go back and look at the early morning signals because I didn't just give you the US session, I gave you the UK session. 136 down, 203 up, 239 down, 330 up, 403 down, 421 up, 503 down, and into the signals. 
question. Does this look like a market that was react reacting randomly to news and price action? Or does this look like a market across the two days of signals? Does this look like a market across two days of signals that was pre-planned and manipulated down at 333, up at 427, down at 503, down at 642, up at 718 yesterday, down at 815, down at 1003, down at 1124, down at 1233 and 145 and 239 and 335. Does this look manipulated or none of the signals look right, Michael? What do you think? It looks like they had a plan. It looks like they had a plan. There is an advanced level to this that I wanna show you. that explains some of the signals that went in the opposite direction. I've activated the advanced filter in relation to the guidebook that you have. And I want you to see that we've even got this stuff figured out. When you arrive, when you arrive at a selling pressure time, and that selling pressure time candle or the one to the left or the right of that candle are a brand new low. What tends to happen is the market reverses and goes up until the next signal. Gabriel, can you see how the example that I drew in 2016 I'm going to blow it up so you can see it. This is an example from a one minute NASDAQ futures chart in 2016. Can you see what happens when those specific conditions are met eight years later on the E-mini S&P? I include the guidebook to help us filter through and understand what's happening at these signals. There is another layer to it. You can see where I purchased this morning in my advance room and where I got out. That's about $450. Using that signal in my advanced training room this morning. I got out there because $10 is about as much pressure as I can take when the ES moves. On the page that I gave everyone to tell us how to trade it. I have setups that I teach. One of them is called the puncture. When I arrive at a counter trend signal, when I arrive at a counter trend signal, I wait for it to go through the stop. So in the case of the ES, at 9.48, I'm below the moving average. I'm still below it. I'm still below it, below it, below it, below it. I would short right here where it punctures that line. My stop would go right above the candle that punctured that line. 
And again, this is all in the rules that I published before the webinar, before the Times had a chance to populate. So I can be short from 5451 area until the close of the 1012 signal. That's a $15 move. And now I can hold it until when? The 1215 signal, which is now a pattern five. So if you did buy here, you had no reason to exit until here, which is a $70 move. Using what? An eight-year-old pattern from a book of timing. How many of you were in the long this morning at the bottom of the market using the timing signals? Anybody besides me? Quick show of hands. There you go. Rich says, me. Earl says, I did. Customers are using this. Well, Michael, how do I trade a pattern five? No, well, it's pretty simple. It's in the book. When you get to a buying pressure signal that is a brand new high, the program puts red arrows over it and says, whoa, this thing is likely to pull back for a while. But if it continues to go up, we trade a breakout above the high. So this afternoon at 12.15, if you thought, man, I'm just gonna trail this thing at $70, I can get out or I can let it keep going. Put a buy stop, two ticks above the candle high. Put a buy stop, two ticks above the candle high. When it breaks out through the high, buy long and hold until the next signal. It's in the book. When's the next signal? 1239. Long exit, 10 more dollars. So that's an $80 move from the low. Here, the high. 29.75, two ticks, one, two, 30.25. I enter long here, it goes directly against me, and I give back $4 of that move. Plus 70, plus 10, minus four. Using what? The predictive times. And a book that's how old? Eight years eight years so you can use those advanced signals or not if you're a very basic trader and a beginner these were the signals yesterday when the world fell apart so using the signals that i published what would we have done Every one of the blue signals below the moving average is a signal with trend. How do we trade a signal with trend? The most basic of setups. Well, in the videos that I teach, we basically do the following. We're gonna use a 120 period moving average for demonstration purposes, exponential. Our stop is going to be a dynamic stop, 1.5 ATR values away. And then we're gonna exit at the opposite time, 
which means we're buying at the close of the candle right here. The low of the candle is here and our stop is one and a half ATR values away. I exit at the next signal. I get to the next buy signal, which is the same direction as the moving average. My stop is one and a half ATR values away. And then I exit at the opposite signal. How far in the future can I see these times? Days. Do the times reprint, disappear, reappear? Never. 712 is in the direction of the trend. My stop is one and a half ATR values away. When the risk increases, the potential for reward increases. I hold the trade until the opposite signal. What do I do with the puncture? When I have a counter trend signal, I watch the stop line. When it goes through the stop line of the counter trend signal, my stop goes two ticks below or above in the opposite direction, the candle that went through the stop. It's a breakout trade. I hold the position until the next signal called a puncture. Well, how does it work in the real world? Short at 6.42, exit by 7.18. Let's increase the size of the font so we can actually see with our old eyes what Michael is doing today. Oh. This candle at 7.27 yesterday closes above the moving average. And so I enter long at 63. It barely gets up and then comes down and stops me out. A valiant effort, however, womp womp, we lose. What do I do? I wait for the next time. So many traders I've met have a gambling addiction. They take 20, 30, 40 trades a day. My next time is 8.15. Well, what do I do between the stomp out and 8.15? Make a sandwich. Walk your dog. Do some jumping jacks. Read a chapter of your Jordan Peterson book. Get your life together. Don't trade. I'm short at the close of the 8.15 signal yesterday with times that I published days in advance. And now I exit by 9.33, $8. The next signal with trend is at 10.03. The risk is large, the reward is large. I exit by 10.39. Let's be accurate here, close of the candle. $8. Two signals very close to each other. Not a lot of room for the trade to mature. A lot of customers ignore that. We're going to count it because I didn't have a rule for ignoring it. Short at 12.33 in lunchtime. Sure, why not? Stopped out. Minus seven. 145. Short until. 218, 239, short until 309, 345, short until the close. From here until four o'clock, $9. Those are the signals with trend. Any question about those entries, it doesn't count the Asian signal at 333. It doesn't count the English 
UK signal at 303, 503, and it doesn't count the stop out at 348, 548. So just trading signals with trend yesterday, not punctures, plus 11, plus 6, plus 3, plus 8, plus 8, plus 10, plus 15, plus 9, minus 7, 1, 2, 3. What's the math on that? 18, 20, 28, 36, 46, 56, 61, 70, 63, 62, 60, 57. Call it $50. So plus $50 equals $2,000 per contract, hypothetically, right? Following signal times that were published four days ago. Now, there's some things that are happening while you're using this software that have an additive effect. In addition to being profitable, there's some things psychologically that are happening if you're doing this. Number one, you're not over trading because there's a schedule of times. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Full moon, new moon, full moon, new moon. Hello, Newman. Hello, Jerry. And so the time in between, you're decompressing. You're not looking at every tick. Is it going up? Is it going down? Should I get in? Should I get out? A customer in the room hit his daily goal today. He said, I feel like I should keep trading. No. Stop it. The other thing it does is it forces you to maintain your stop. Tendra, if the trade is going to work, it's going to work now. Don't increase your stop. Don't add into your position. Don't do the things that kick people out of their evaluations for prop firms. That's your stop. Leave it alone. This is the time. It either works or it doesn't. But if it works, you stay in the trade. You stay in it. If I had stayed in that ES trade today, past my 11 o'clock room close, it was $70, $3,500 move per contract, hypothetically. So there's this additive effect of combating all of the things that tear most traders down. Now, let's look at the punctures. Well, 933. Jitendra says, your signals don't work. Watch. 933 is not a trend entry. It's a sell signal. Those of you that are in the Omnia course, your Omniacs, you'll recognize this pattern right here. Rich, do you remember what that pattern is called? Tim, do you remember what that pattern is called? There's an actual trade setup associated with it. For the purpose of this webinar, we go short at the line, 42.45. Where's our stop? Above the candle that broke through the line. What's my target? The next time. So using the system that I've taught for 15 years almost, we're short here. We exit here. That's a $20 move, $1,000 per contract yesterday, based off of a setup that I've been teaching for years called a puncture. There's one more. Can you spot it? It happens right here. It breaches that white line. I am short 
at 5506 half. Where is my stop? Right above the candle. Where is my entry? Here. When do I exit by? Here. There's two punctures. There's another $3. Any questions about this? The reason this works for me, and I, I'm beating you up a little bit on purpose because sometimes I have to shake the baby. <laughs> the dingo ate my baby. This is the reality of the world. It is never what they tell you. It is never what they tell you. Elon Musk today assured everyone, guys, I got a warehouse full of robo taxis that'll drive anywhere. I got a robot here. Every American is gonna have it. The robots are gonna mow your lawns and make fettuccine Alfredo for you. Every time Elon Musk opens his mouth, a lie floats out into the air and an angel gets their wings. It's never what they say. It's always a stock manipulation. Nancy Pelosi, I don't make any money trading stocks. I have the same access you have. Lie. <laughs> Grant Cardone says, how does someone who makes $175,000 a year have a $50 million net worth? <laughs> we know it's this. And so if we believe in this universe, right? If I believe in this universe, then this has to be the answer. If people are cheating, if it's based on time and all the rest is fluff, then I should be able to see day after day after day evidence of the manipulation. And what if I just wait at each of those times? What if I just wait at each of these times to see if they're gonna do it again. What if I trade when Nancy Pelosi trades? What if I trade when Elon Musk tweets out something? Do I have a better than average chance? Do I have an edge that's working? Guys, every one of these signals on this chart is seven days old. I have the signals for the ES for the next seven days right here look squish it up there's the schedule there's the schedule i'm going to do the same thing tomorrow with the same guidebook that you have i'm going to look for the same moves as the last two the last three that occurred 254, 321, 345, 403 until 703. Here are the times for tomorrow. It's all here. 630, 7:30, 8:06, 8:54, It's all here. And people will leave here today. Jatendra left. He left. He left. He left. I knew he'd leave. Even after this, more pips than he could see in his life based on the size of the moon in the sky. Earl, they can't handle it. Well, what about this? Well, what about that? Well, what about this? And their brain melts down. 
I'm not here for the detenders though. I'm here for that person who's saying, dude, I believe it. I believe it. I saw your call. I believe it. You told us in your social media what was going on. I took advantage of it. I know there's another layer to this. The person who asks, what market do I look at? I look at the NQ. My favorite, favorite market is the NASDAQ. It is arguably one of the hardest markets in the world to trade. When you talk to people, they will always tell you, I hate the NASDAQ. It will eat your face. One of you calls it the NAS crack. It's my favorite. The NASDAQ <laughs> is a giving lover. But if you cheat on her, you take your life in your own hands. If you don't give her her freedom, she will set fire to your car. <laughs> Here's how I know the software works. I can't believe you left, Dave. Here's how I know it works. These are the signals farthest from the forecast, All right? Let me get there. Did I close the web page? I think I closed the web page. You believe me at this point that these are the predictive times, right? You know that I'm not, and you can double check me if you're not sure. Look at the signals. I won't do the arrow thing. Right? I won't do the arrow thing. But use the system. When I'm above the 120 period moving average, I go long at the close of the 914 candle. And I exit at 920 for plus $20. 920 is a counter trend signal. I'm waiting for a breakout above 19,257. Lower, 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 close below the moving average crossover trade. My stop is two ticks above the candle, which closed below the moving average. I'm going to exit by the next signal, 946. That's a 5150. By the way, 5150 the greatest Van Halen album ever made. And I will fight anyone who disagrees with me. Sammy Hagar, 947, enter at the close of the candle, exit by 955 plus $11. 20, 51, 11, 955 goes lower, Low close, low close, low close, rapid deceleration, buy dot, puncture. Where does the puncture occur? Right there, 1942.50, puncture. Enter below, stop two ticks above the puncture candle. Exit by when? The next signal is $32. I have a $500 break-even rule that we're going to deploy now. Signal with trend at 10.06, it gets as far as $125 before the first buy candle kicks in. If you exit by the next signal, it's a $45 loss. I use a $500 break even, and we call it essentially a break even trade. I don't think anyone here would be up 
$2,500 and let it turn into a loser. Next signal, doesn't turn into a puncture, doesn't cross over. Next signal at 1032, gets down how far? $40, which is an $800 profit. And then the very next candle is break even. The next signal is at 1045, exit by 1054 plus 62. You see what we're doing here? 1103, enter at the close of the candle, exit by 1111 plus $23. Puncture. Did we get to break even on the puncture? Let's see. Puncture maximum was $47 or $800 per contract. We finished break even. 11.38, signal with trend, womp womp, stop out. Why is this significant? Can someone tell me why that stop out is significant and what we can start to think about next? Minus 34. Why is that 1138 stop out significant? That's right. There's no more buyers. At 1138, you can see they come up and they run out of steam. I don't think they get up $500, maybe. Yeah, they did. That was actually a break-even trade. Sorry. But it means the trend is about to reverse. 11.38, we finished lower than we started. Advanced users see this now as a reason to watch for shorts and watch what happens after that. The exact opposite of what I just told you. <laughs> that's funny. I actually think that's funny. I got all cocky with Jatendra and then I said something that didn't happen. Next signal with trend 1159, exit by 1211, signal with trend, exit by 1240, and so on. Anyway. Yeah, you could have made a lot of money in the NASDAQ today if you were using those times. Any questions about that chart? I feel like an idiot now. Probably the universe humbling my very, um, my very uh, crazy brain right now. If we look at the NASDAQ five minute chart and scroll forward into tomorrow, we already have the times for tomorrow. And this is what I want for you. If you're listening to my voice and you haven't left, then you already know these guys have a plan. There's the plan for tomorrow. Well, why do we care? Because of what happened during their plan for today. They were waiting for you at 8.50 at a stop run right here. They were waiting for you at 7.10 and 8.25 with a stop run right here. They were waiting for you at 6.30 and 5.50 Eastern. They were waiting at 12.05 and 12.40 and 1.05. They were waiting at 1.25. There's the stop out right here. They were waiting at three o'clock, 3.15 and 3.50. They'll be waiting for everyone tomorrow and thousands of men and women will have to look their spouse in the face when their spouse asks them, how did you do today? How did it go? Positive day, honey? Thousands of traders will hobble out to the mailbox to get their account statements before 
um, their partner sees it. Thousands of traders will fail their evaluation with Apex, Top Step Trader, U Profit, and the like because they can't not over trade, they can't not move their stops, they can't not average in, they can't cut not cut their targets short. And they're the ones on the opposite sides of every one of these signals, in my opinion. And I know I bring up silly things, right? I know I bring up silly things, like full moons and new moons, but I want you to see, I want you to see the foolish things that confound the wise. I want you to see that the richest men on earth are paying attention to this. What do I mean by that? Look, this was the wealthiest man on the planet. This man and his friends were responsible for the formation of the fourth unelected branch of government called the Federal Reserve. Did you know you can't vote for a Federal Reserve member? You can't vote for his peer in an election? And a handful of men with banks control the interest rates in this country and lend all the money we're using for everything we use. That's the guy right there. The first of his name, if you're a Game of Thrones aficionado. And he just sits there and says, you know who uses astronomy, astrology? Billionaires. And here I am nearly 200 years later, taking him at his word that it's a real thing. And there are people who come here and they leave disappointed. They leave disappointed because they've tried everything under the sun and it's not working. And if they believe in what I'm doing, it's admitting that what they were doing never really worked. And they'd rather go home with the girl they came to the dance with than leave with their soulmate. These are the signals for oil futures, by the way. Oil and gold are two of the most manipulated markets and the most predictable markets in the world. Look what happened at 427. Look what happened at three o'clock and 136 and four o'clock and 539 and 703 and 806 and 836 and nine o'clock and 824, 924, 957. Look what happens at 957 until 1033. That's a thousand dollar move. Look what happens if you were waiting at that time at 1051 and got out by 1151. That's a thousand dollar move. What if you waited for the crossover at, two, at 4.27 and got out here? That's a $770 move. What if you risked a little bit at each of these times and caught that tiger by the tail a few times a day? What would you tell your spouse then? What would you tell your friend at work or your partner? Those people who think you're gambling. How great would it be to feel? You can read about those experiences, what other people have gone through, and see how people have felt. 
We have a 4.8 out of 5 customer rating after 15 years. Anybody can write whatever they want about the software. It's very rare that people come back and write anything at all. And they're telling us the same thing, right? Since 2009, I can't believe I've taken so long to write a review. I can honestly say when you buy their software, they will be there to give you lifetime support and mentorship if you need them. I use my own trading method with the software for many years. It's amazing to wait for the time signal and see how price will react with the exact time giving days in advance. I trade less than an hour a day most of the time. The software and support keeps getting better. The program we're referring to is called Tachyon Warp on our webpage, backtothefuturetrading.com in our product store. Merrick, Aurora is a plugin that works with Warp. So Merrick, if you're looking at this program, CL for example, Aurora brings a suite of analytics that tell you when the entries and exits are, that tell you what the profitability of the signals are, that allow you to trade different setups and signals. It's more or less an overlay on top of Warp that provides analytics, statistical analysis, entries, exits, backtesting abilities, and so on. So if you have that form of mind, an analytical mind, right? Sure. And you want that to validate your signals. This is showing me, for example, on CL, that with the current system loaded over how many days historical? Over the last 30 days, using the entries and exits that I've programmed into the semi-automatic system, there are 206 ticks of profit on the buy side and 117 ticks of profit on the sell side using a template that I probably built a year ago, this one right there. So you're able to plug into Aurora, plug into Warp and set up your stop loss, your target, test it and see. And then the program will actually say, hey, if you went long here or short here, you can see the arrows and triangles on the screen telling you where the entries and exits would be. Otherwise, Warp by itself is providing the time signals neutral. Warp, Aurora. Yeah, and people know which one they are. The Aurora guys are analytical. I call them the engineers or the architects, the accountants the accountants who have to know what the statistics of the model are. So if you're that, man, more power to you. That's what it's there for. Warp is actually the base level. Aurora is a semi-automated analytical plugin. And all of those things have been leading towards our auto strategy, Optimus, the latest update of which is freaking bananas um i can't even i can't even the stuff that we're seeing coming out of optimus right now it's invitation only has been um whew, just out of this world. This is on CL, I believe. And this is a year's worth of data. So the progression from Warp as a standalone system that you can use with your existing methodology, Aurora that restrains you more and tells you specifically where entries and exits could be. And then Optimus takes over and says, why don't you let me trade it? Um, 
we've come a long way in 15 years, man. And there's no stopping. We're not going to stop until everybody knows what's going on at these times. At the bottom of that page is a buy now button. And I wanted you to see that we have a live room. I teach the live room. I am one of the owners. I am one of the primary developers. And I now sit in a room and I show people what are the entries, what are the exits. In fact, if you're a member of that room, you'll see that um, I actually have a guidebook. Where are you? In my room now, I teach the setups, basic and <laughs> basic and advanced. And every day we go through the setups together. And I'm showing the entries. Where do we get in? Where do we get out? What do we do? Slowly, methodically. Today we had several setups. Again, showing you that one pattern for good for $10. Many of you took it for much further. So I teach that room. I strongly encourage anyone who's a customer who's not in that room, get in there for at least a month or two. The cost is $200 a month, and I have a $200 a day minimum room goal. That one ES trade was a thousand, five months worth of subscriptions. We meet 9 to 11 Eastern. If you're not able to attend, we record them. My advice is to go back, watch the video, and follow along with Ninja Traders Market Replay. Follow along with the signals in real time and practice yourself. If you don't want that, that's fine. You don't need it. Go to the webpage. We have a purchase agreement. Please read through it. It's important that you be informed. And there's a place to put a code. W-A-R-P-O-F-F, W-A-R-P-O-F-F, W-A-R-P-O-F-F. And when you hit apply, it takes $500 off the price. The times in the room are 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern time. East Coast time, two hours, six hours a week. Sometimes we go over, we do advanced lessons. Uh, pretty good feedback in the room. If you were in the room, I wanted you to know this. Um, I am slower. I am deliberate. We use specific rules that you have access to in the booklet. The setups are now projected in the future. You're able to follow them. My pace of speech is half of what it normally is. When you hear me speaking the way I'm speaking now, that is the pace of the speech in the room. For those of you that have left, I listened, I changed. I organized and lowered the pace. Please come back. We're killing it in the room. Lifetime licenses, two computer licenses, access to our video training archive on the website. In addition to that, we have a Skype group, 285 people in there now. They are sharing their experiences with each other. They're sharing their setups with each other. They're helping each other 24 seven people all over the world. If you have questions about the program, if you need help, you wanna connect with people who are doing well, customers will help you. There is a community of users. It's grown bigger than me. And that's what I wanted when we started. I wanted this to be generational, where the customers turn around and come back and support new users, and we're there. We have so many goals, and we've hit so many of them because of initiatives like that. Any questions about this before I finish up here today?
You can have the times for tomorrow. The times are ready right now. The times are ready right now for tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday next week. They are published, available, carved in electronic stone right now. Robert, thank you. I really appreciate your time. We're wrapping up. I went over. I'm so sorry. I don't usually do. Merrick, you want to have a computer that was made in the last five years, somewhere between a two and a half and a three and a half gigahertz processor, quad core or greater, preferable. Anywhere between minimum is four gig of RAM, eight and 16 is sort of a good baseline. Right? Windows uh, running Ninja Trader. And if you're on Apple, you just have to install Parallel, Parallels, Parallel, and it runs fine that way, as far as I know. Piece of cake, easy peasy. Don't let that be an obstacle. It's like Pamela Anderson in the 80s wants to give you a kiss, and you're like, I don't know. It's a little uphill between here and there. Yes, Merrick, we're running um, we're running our auto strats with Optimus on a VPN right now in Chicago, which is a Windows uh, virtual private server. Piece of cake. That's actually preferable in terms of latency. I'm sure you know all the reasons, right? Yeah, so. Happy to help you with, if you need help getting that set up too, there's free installation. We can make an appointment with you to make sure it's running and everything's cool. Okay, let's check in with my new dog, Justice, AKA Juice. Juice, how did we do today? All right. <laughs> Come here. I got an out of my chair. Come here, let me show you to my right. Ah. Juice says you should trust him. <laughs> Have a kiss. Mm -hmm. That's so gross. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Guys, thank you for your time here today. This is my service dog. He prevents me from being crazy when we're looking at Forex charts all day. <laughs> Let me leave you with this benediction for trading as we go and finish up here today. May the wind be at your back. Bow. May the sun shine upon your beautiful, handsome faces. May the valleys rise up to meet you. May the mountains of adversity lay low before you. We are for you. We believe in you. You've come so far. Let us help you keep going. I know that you can do this. I am not the smartest person in the room. In fact, I'm silly and ridiculous and uh, not so bright sometimes. I've watched what many of you have taken and done with the tools that we've built for you. And I am in awe of this community, of our customers, of the experiences that you're having. Keep sending me those uh, results, those testimonies, testimonials. And um, if you need a word of encouragement, Hang in there, man. You learned something new today in one of the most difficult fields there is. You're doing it. I believe in you. I know you can do this. I've seen other people do it, and I know that you can do it. Hang in there. We're here to help. We're here to support. Whatever you need, please let us know. Take care. God bless. Be safe. Be kind. There's a lot of angst out there. People are very angry and violent. We all are made from the same stardust. Treat each other with kindness, compassion. Be light in darkness as we go here today. Take care. I love you all. We'll see you next week. Be safe out there. Bye-bye.